the real revolution <coughs> happens, as Mr. Larry pressed yesterday, the real American revolution start not with the gunshots. That was an after, that was a post uh, true revolution, which happened where? A transformation of the heart. The people decided, you know what? We're not going to stand against, we're not going to stand for this tyranny anymore. We're going to fight this tyranny, we're going to stand up against it. It's unrighteous, it's unjust, and we have a moral cause to stand up against it. And we'll risk our lives. The Founding Fathers in America are famous for saying, we risk our lives, our honor, and our, uh, I'm sorry, our, and our fortunes, our sacred honor, lives, our sacred honor, and our fortunes for this cause. They're willing to put everything on the line, right? Who in society is really ready to put everything on the line if it comes to a battle? <coughs> Who? The normal Christians are not. Yeah. Even the church-going Christians, they pray every day and they say, this is what the Muslims pray every day. You can't brag about that. Are you willing to die for Christ? That's the difference. You pray every day, so what? You willing to die for Christ? No, they're not. Most most Christians are not. You see, what I mean? you see the difference? <coughs> Completely different. Different level of a of, of seriousness in in Christ in His kingdom, right? And so you have a lot of nominal Christians or Anglicans or Episcopalians or whatever in. The, 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 in, 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 what is it, in Europe, Catholics, Eastern Church, whatever they are. But many of the centralized churches are, number one, they're teaching liberation theology, they're teaching Jesus was a socialist, they're teaching Romans 13 that you should just obey the government because the government is instituted by God. That's how they interpret Romans 13, okay? Ridiculous. That, of course, goes against all of Christian history. Because Christians did not obey the laws of, uh, for example, the Roman Empire. They continued to secretly worship Jesus, even though under different rules they had to worship Mithras on December 25th, the winter solstice. That's just a historical fact. They continued to disobey the law and not listen to Romans 13 in the way that the Vatican and these Eastern churches, big churches, and the Anglican church interprets which is just obey the government, do whatever they say. That's ridiculous. The Bible says you must stand up against unrighteousness. The Bible, talk, Bible talks about the kingdom of God suffereth violence for the violent taken by force. 